what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Recently, NASCAR driver Kyle Lawson was competing in the Monza Madness iRacing event on Twitch. During his competition, this is live streaming family, he ran into a little trouble in the sixth lap and he fixed his mouth to say, hey guys, can you hear me? He was trying to get the attention of the other drivers. And he said, you can't hear me. And then he said, hey nigger, Everything would have been cool if he had been just in his little circle of friends who you know are racist too because birds of a feather does flock together. But this event was being broadcast all over the world. Well, NASCAR suspended Kyle indefinitely. And Kyle issued an apology, such a, just a whack, really weak apology, where he started off apologizing to his family and friends and NASCAR community and everybody but the people he offended. Then he finally got down the line to the African-Americans and he said, especially African-Americans. And he said it was a mistake. Now we all know. It was not a mistake. And the only reason that he apologized was because he got caught. He meant what he said. What I want to know is why? Why is it so important to them to use the word? If I was playing, I don't even play games, but if I was playing the game to get the attention of the other drivers, I wouldn't have even said, hey, nigger, or uh, hey nigga, or any type of variation of the word. I wouldn't have said that. Because that's my, not my everyday vernacular. But boy, he said it perfectly. And it rolled off real nice, rolled off the tongue real nice. You know he said it all the time. I was on his Instagram page and I saw a little daughter, you know, the, saw his kid. And I thought to myself, I bet she used the word too. And I guess he's married. So, you know, the mother probably uses the word too. Just a wild guess, because you know she knows he's like that. That's not a word that you've never used before. And all of a sudden you use it during a live stream competition. You did? He has practice. And he's using the word many, 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 many times. They are absolutely fascinated by that word. It's like spinach to them. They have to use it. Why? Why? Now, I know, yes, there are black people that use the word. Many, many black people use the word. But you know that there are disparaging words aimed at other communities, whereas the people in that community also use that word. But they can get a pass because it's a derogatory word aimed at them. So it's not as offensive to them when they're using it. But for somebody else, you dig what I'm saying? Let's just say like, here's a good example. Let's say you're a hoe. Caught y'all guard with that one, didn't I? Male or female, male or female, you're a hoe. You know you're a hoe because you act like a hoe. Everything you do says you have hoe-like qualities. You got hoe-like tendencies. You're a hoe. You've even called yourself a hoe. But if somebody else calls you a hoe, especially somebody who don't know you, 
you're going to be offended. See how that works? So I'm not buying Kyle's apology. He said it, he meant it, and he represented. For that, Kyle Lawson, you low-life degenerate. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>